Hello everyone and I'm so very happy to see you again. Today our book is called Watermelon Madness and this book is written by Tahrid Najjar illustrated by Maya Fidawi. Now boys and girls this book is about a little girl named Noura and we are going to follow Noura and see what does she like to do. Now, I would love for you to pay extra attention and see if you, at the end of the story, can name some food that maybe you are not familiar with, right? Or maybe you can pay attention to the setting and see, does it remind you of something you know or does it look a little bit foreign and different? Well, let's begin, ready? Nora is a little girl who loves to eat watermelon. She eats watermelon in the morning. She eats watermelon in the afternoon. She eats watermelon in the evening. Look at Nora and her mommy and daddy in her kitten. One day, Noura sat down to eat with her family. Mama scooped mluchia with chicken and rice onto Noura's plate. But Noura turned up her nose. I don't like mluchia. I don't like chicken. I only want watermelon. Chicken is good for you, Noura, Baba insisted. And mluchia is yummy. Now, boys and girls, Baba means dad, and of course, Mama is mom. Mulukhiya is a, a dish that has a lot of vegetables similar to, uh, let's see, spinach. But it also has delicious spices and chicken. It's absolutely delicious, right? People in the Middle East eat this a lot. And I, it looks like Nora might be from some part of the Middle East. Maybe she could be from Egypt because they eat malochia too, right? Let's find out. Nura roared, watermelon, watermelon, I only want watermelon. Mama was angry and said firmly, first eat your malochia, then you can have watermelon. That evening, Nora snuck into the kitchen and saw a big watermelon sitting on the table. She stood there for a moment and thought, yum, that is a very big watermelon. I want to eat it all by myself. Uh-oh, what's she going to do? Nora took the watermelon and rolled it under her bed so that she could eat it after everyone had gone to sleep. She fell asleep thinking about the big watermelon under her bed. In the middle of the night, Nura felt her bed shaking. She opened her eyes and saw the watermelon growing bigger and bigger and bigger. It got so big that her bed almost touched the ceiling. Wow. Nora slid down the watermelon. Wee! Wee! I'm so happy! I'm so happy! This whole watermelon is all for me. Nora walked around the watermelon and found a door on its side. She opened the door and went inside the watermelon. She walked down a long hallway until she reached a bright pink room. Inside were a table and a chair made out of watermelon seeds. Nora sat at the table. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. This whole watermelon is all for me. Nora ate her first piece of watermelon. Yum, this watermelon is so delicious. 
I want more. And another piece of watermelon appeared right in front of her. Nura kept eating and eating and eating. And she kept saying, I want more, I want more, I want more. The moment she finished a piece of watermelon, another one would appear in its place. Wow, sounds like a magical watermelon, doesn't it? Suddenly, Nura stopped eating. She felt herself getting bigger and bigger as the watermelon got smaller and smaller. Nora grabbed her belly and cried, Ow! 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 My tummy hurts! I don't want any more! I don't want any more! Nora opened her eyes and found Mama sitting next to her and patting her. What's wrong, Nora? What's the matter? There was a giant watermelon under my bed and I ate so much of it. I felt like it swallowed me. Mama took the watermelon out from under Nora's bed. Who put this watermelon under your bed, Nora? Nora felt embarrassed. I did. I'm sorry, Mama. I wanted to eat the whole watermelon all by myself. But I started getting bigger and bigger as the watermelon got smaller and smaller. Mama smiled. Go back to sleep now, Nura. We'll talk about the magic watermelon tomorrow. Nura turned over in her bed and fell asleep right away. The next morning at breakfast, Nura ate her fried egg in za'atar with olive oil and drank all her milk. Za'atar, boys and girls, is a herb with sesame seeds and other herbs mixed in. And usually it's mixed with delicious olive oil. You take a piece of pita bread, you dip it in it, and you eat it. It's absolutely delicious. The end. Fun facts for watermelon lovers. Watermelon originally came from Africa. They are related to cucumbers. The rind and seeds can be eaten. And some varieties have yellow flesh, you know, the inside of the watermelon. And did you know that? Molochia refers both to a plant and a traditional Middle Eastern dish whose core ingredients is the leaves of the molochia turned into a thick broth or stew and cooked with meats, lots of meats, boys and girls, and spices. Za'atar is a condiment made of dried herbs, spices, and seeds, including thyme and oregano and wild oregano. It is eaten with bread and olive oil or used as a seasoning for meats and salads. Yum, yum. Delicious. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this book. See you soon. Bye.